What's up YouTube? Tila Shine here back with another video. In today's video, I will be talking about how I get accepted into vet school, which includes my statistics as far as my standardized test scores, my GPA, my animal experience, vet experience extracurriculars and all of that in no type of specific order i really created this video this video to encourage students because i know when i was applying i was watching youtube videos and it got really discouraging because there's some people who say oh you need this amount of hours i know if you're watching this video you probably watched that other video where there was a youtuber saying oh you need at least 2,000 hours do not listen to that that is not true i was nowhere near 2,000 hours didn't even have a thousand hours and I still got accepted. So yeah, if you want to learn about how I got accepted in my statistics, then keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time when I make a video. So yeah, let's get into it. So to start off, I believe I want to start with... Oh, okay, let me start with the changes due to COVID. Because of COVID, some schools don't even require standardized tests anymore, or they change from taking the GRE to taking the Casper test. I took both of these tests um, just because one that I applied to Lincoln Memorial required Casper, and some that I applied to required the GRE as well. Also, some didn't require tests at all. So um, I just went ahead and took both of those tests just because when it comes to the GRE, y'all, that test gave me a huge headache. I kid you not, it was like five hours long. It was just, uh, I don't even think I finished any section of that test. And also I believe, I mean, I did poorly. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I did poorly. On that test, my score is I did make a 286, y'all, and then a 3.5. So, yeah, I didn't do good, but I still got accepted to a school who required the GRE. So, I don't know how much weight the GRE really, you know, carries, but yeah, I went ahead and took it anyway. And then also, I took the Casper test. The Casper test is it's scenario based questions it's not just like math reading all of that it's scenario based um i can't really describe it to you but all i can tell you is it is way simpler than the gre for sure even though i did do poor i did do poorly on the casper test as well i scored the lowest percentile you guys but would you rather score poorly on a test that only took like an hour and a half or score poorly on a test that took five hours the hour and a half i did poorly on both of my standardized tests you guys but i still got accepted so that's a little encouragement for you guys um also next animal experience hours so i kid you not y'all i didn't have that many experience hours due to covid so i got a little animal experience from volunteering at a main society it wasn't a lot and then also, I got some animal experience from my animal science club in my school. Well, my undergrad university, not that much. We probably met, I would say, three hours max a week. And it wasn't even every week. So, not that many hours for that as well. And then for vet clinical hours, I got my vet's clinical hours by shadowing a veterinarian in a vet clinic. I only did it for about a month and a half. So I only had 234 vet clinical hours, veterinary experience hours, whatever you want to call it. I only had 234 and got accepted. So do not listen to the people who say, oh, you have to at least have 1,000, 2,000. Do not listen to that. Oh, and then also my research hours. Zero. Zero research hours, you guys. Zero. Absolutely none. None at all. And I still got accepted. You don't need that. I, well, I'm not saying don't do it because please do it. I had the opportunity to do research at Purdue University, but that was when COVID happened and they canceled it. So if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Now next is GPA. Now I'm not gonna lie, my GPA is kind of high. It is a 3.82. Yeah, I graduated summa cum laude. So yeah, I only had A's and B. That is what helped me become competitive because of my GPA. Next, 
extracurriculars. I would encourage that you have leadership positions in your extracurriculars. I did it, so I'm not saying you have to. I wasn't the president or vice president or anything. I was just a member. So I was in SAAS 1890 Agricultural Scholars Program, National Society of Leadership Institutes, or NSLS, for the Academics Honor Society, Future Farmers of America, FFA, Animal Science Club, Manners, which is Minorities and Agriculture. And then also I did study abroad. I feel like that is what really made me competitive because of COVID. Not that many people can say they did that. And not only that, I studied abroad twice. Once in Costa Rica and once in Thailand. Um, you can watch previous videos. I did vlog in Costa Rica and Thailand if you want to go look at that. But I feel like that is really what made me stand out. So that is how I got accepted into vet school. Those are my statistics. Also, I forgot about work experience. The only work experience I've had is a summer internship when I was 16 years old. So other than that, I've never worked. I did serve as an intern for my study abroad program, but that got cut within like the first month because of COVID. So yeah, you don't have to have work experience, like, you know, working at Walmart, fast food, retail, whatever the case may be. You don't have to have that. I didn't, but I'm not saying that doesn't make you better. So yeah, those are my statistics and how I get accepted into vet school. I wish you guys luck as well as getting accepted and just getting ready for interviews, applying, all things of that nature. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time when I make a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.